Okay, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can simplify Blender's graph editor and make it a lot easier to use. So if you're coming from a different 3D application, maybe like Maya, or maybe you've used Blender for a while, but you actually haven't really dove into some of the settings within Blender. And that's what we're gonna take a look at today. So I wanna show how we can make Blender's graph editor just easier to use from an animator's perspective. If you just look at the graph editor here, I've got Blender open up. And at face value, it looks very similar to most other graph editors and other 3D applications. But by default, the way Blender displays the information to us is just way too complex. It gives us way more information than we actually need. And as animators, or at least myself, I like to simplify things and really only look at exactly what I need to be looking at when I'm animating. So if I take a look at the graph editor here, and we've got all of the channels over here on the left, and in the center, we actually have all of the curves for this animation. So these are all the curves that make up the actual animation. So the first thing that I wanna take a look at is this button right here. So over here on the graph editor, we have the only show selected. So typically I wanna have that turned on because if I'm working in the graph editor, I don't wanna see every single channel over here for this character rig. So we have the root control, we have you know the leg controls, we have the neck control. So we have every single control here being displayed in the graph editor. So you can see just how long this list is. So there's really no reason to see all this information unless maybe you're scaling or retiming your entire animation. But the majority of the time, I would just wanna have this turned on. So that way I don't have anything displayed in the graph editor unless I come in here and actually select a control curve. So I'm gonna select my root control. And this is just a basic uh, run cycle animation that we have here. So by turning this on, that way it's only going to display the, the controls that we have selected. So in this case, we have our torso control. So we can come in here and you can see in the left side of our graph editor, that's all we see. And I can come in here and select each one of these channels. And then if we select a different control, that's gonna be the only thing displayed there. Now, if we want to select multiple controls and show them in the graph editor, all we need to do is just shift select the controls and you can see it's going to pop up there in the graph editor. So typically this is what I would do if I need to select multiple controls, I'll just hold shift down rather than having this unchecked and then just getting this entire mess of curves there. So usually want to always have that turned on. So the next thing I want to take a look at is how Blender is actually showing the keyframes and showing the controls within the graph editor. So this is kind of the, the default view that we get. So I have currently my Y rotation selected on my torso control. So we see that curve highlighted here. Now, if I go to view, what I can do is turn off this only selected keyframe handles. And this is really just kind of personal preference. If I uncheck this, you can see it's going to display uh, the tangent handles for this curve here. So it's displaying the tangent handles for all three keyframes there. If you turn that on and check it on, it's only going to display tangent handles when you select that specific keyframe. So this is the value I usually have it set to when I'm animating. So that way I can just come in here and select the keyframe that I want, and then that will display the tangent handle. That way it keeps the graph editor a little bit cleaner here. So I can go to view and uncheck that. And you can see it's going to, again, make it just a little bit messy. So I'll just go ahead and turn that Turn that back on. Now, the next important thing that I wanna take a look at is under view again. And if we come down here to the only selected curve keyframe. So you can see it says only keyframes of selected F curves are visible and editable. So you can see right now my graph editor is displaying all of the curves for this selected control curve. But if I go ahead and turn this on, what's going to happen is it's going to remove the keyframes, but we still see the curves of the actual animation. So if I come in here and I select, let's say Y location, or actually let's sec select something that actually has some movement on it. So maybe I'll select the, maybe like Z again, so we can see this. So what's happening is that we aren't displaying the curve keyframes for all the other curves in our graph editor. So you can see that we're only now displaying the keyframes for the selected channel that we have but we still are seeing the curve. So if I go ahead and uncheck this, you can see when we see the, the keyframes pop up for those unselected curves. And we can turn that back on. And this right here is probably the, 
the biggest issue I found with Blender's graph editor, and that's just the fact that it displays all the control curves all at all times in this sort of like ghosted view here, even if you only select that channel. So even if I have this only selected curve keyframe, so I only want to display the curve keyframes for the channel I have selected, it's still going to display this ghosted curve here, which when I'm animating and I'm editing a curve like that, I usually don't need to see the other curves. There's really no reason for me to come in here and edit my Y rotation curve and then see the Z rotation curve as this kind of ghosted display. It doesn't really help me. It just muddies up the graph editor view and just makes it more difficult to animate. So the way we can fix this is we can either select the individual channel that we want and we can press shift H and then you can see all the little eye icons are going to close and that means it's hiding every single channel that's not selected. So I selected my Y rotation, hit shift H and then that hid everything that's not selected. So that way we're getting a much cleaner view of our curve. So we don't see those ghosted curves making it much easier to edit this curve. Now if we press alt H that's going to show everything again. So if you want to come in here we can you know, select the Z rotation, shift H to isolate it, to remove those ghosted curves, alt H to show everything again. So this is one way we can do it, but this is actually not the best way. I usually don't like having to use a keyboard shortcut like that to show and hide my curves just to make it easier to use the graph editor. So what we can do to fix this is let's go ahead and, you know, select the Y rotation, just one single curve. And you see, we have all of these ghosted frames or these ghosted curves that we don't have selected. Again, just muddying up the graph editor view. So to fix this, let's go to file, or excuse me, let's go to edit, preferences, and we wanna go into the animation tab. So by default, the unselected opacity curve is set to around a value of 0.2. So it's set to 0.25. So you can see that this is going to increase the opacity of the curves that are not selected. So this is what gives us the ghosted curves within the graph editor. So that means even if we come in here and we turn on the show only selected curve keyframes, we're still gonna see these ghosted curves. So to remove this, just bring this all the way down. And that way you completely remove that ghosted curve and we don't have to use the keyboard shortcuts to isolate and show only one channel. We can actually come in here and select all these now and we don't get the ghosted curves and we're just able to work with a much cleaner graph editor. If you're coming from Maya, this will be very similar to how Maya displays the curves. It's not gonna create you know, ghosted curves for every single channel. It's gonna start out like this where everything is you know, isolated when you just highlight it within the graph editor. So these few settings to adjust are probably the most important settings when you're working with the graph editor. This makes it just much easier to work in Blender's graph editor. I'm not sure why these settings aren't the default settings. There's really no reason to have the ghosted curves displayed at all times. It, I found it doesn't help me at all. It just muddies up the graph editor view. It's displaying every curve that I don't need to see, especially when usually when I'm using the graph editor, it's going in there to make you know small edits to curves and then seeing every other curve displayed at the same time just makes that even more difficult. So hopefully this was helpful for you. And maybe if you found issues with Blender's graph editor, maybe this will simplify it and make, you know, using Blender for animation a little bit more enticing. So as always, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and like.